I've done a lot of thinking and, you know, especially in the last year, because there's been so much noise around, like a lot of thinking about community and like, what are the things that bring people together and how do we get that sense of belonging? Right. Um, and I mean, my angle is often through, you know, music. That's like my, you know, my, uh, uh, you know, what a surprise. My, my personal tool for belonging, right, is singing songs with people. In the last uh, three or four years, I've been doing uh, these community singing uh, choirs. So it's kind of, you know, usually meeting in a friend's living room and we'll have anywhere from, you know, a dozen to 25 people. Um, and just singing, they're, they're mostly kind of simple uplifting songs they don't tend to have a ton of lyrics they're usually um contrapuntal so instead of it's kind of hard for non-musicians to sing tight harmony um because mm -hmm. uh just the, the the mind can find it if everyone's in the same rhythm moving in the same direction people will kind of skip around parts if they're not really used to singing together um so it's easy for people to do these melodies that kind of weave around each other and have different rhythms, different, different mm -hmm. movement. Um, and so these songs are like designed to be learned quickly, sung different, uh, sung quickly to be uplifting. So a few musician friends have come and some of my musician friends have kind of shown up and gone like, this is really boring. <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, a, a couple of other of my musician friends have shown up and, and started doing choir leading in the same yeah. thing. Oh, really? Um, but it's kind of, it's like, it's kind of like church without any dogma, if that makes yeah. sense. And there's a lot of people who maybe had, you know, grew up in a church and then fell away from it, but they miss the belonging and the togetherness and the, the thing that song provides. And there's, you know, uh, we don't, get that i mean it, it's strange in american culture particularly we have like sweet caroline and ba 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 everybody knows how to do that but we don't have these songs like if you go to a bar in ireland if you go to a bar and you know if you're uh, most of the world has these songs that are you know uh whether they're you know regional or national um they're much older than any individual and they say yeah. something about who you are and everybody knows and everybody can join in and um you know there are all these kind of you know neurological physiological benefits to singing with other people um yeah. you know the uh the vagus vagal nerve vagal nerve and uh you know your heart rate and your breathing becomes synchronized there are all these things that happen. And I mean, you know, anybody who's ever been in a church and prayed and everybody's singing a hymn together, there's something, you know, uh, you know, that is carrying everybody away. And that same spirit in, in a different way is very much available to um, people singing together. So mm -hmm. um, I think I, I've been something... very curious about that. So when I get my jealousy of European culture, some of it's just about like, oh, you know, your song for right. your town or your you know, particular history, your place, you're able to walk into a room. And if somebody starts singing something, you know, that that says something about who you are. It's like, not just your playlist or the last hit to come through. There's something bigger and older than, and deeper than you that actually lets you know something about yourself and where you fit in the world. And I, I think more and more, even with, you know, my kind of pop or folk music, like trying to figure out how it can function more in that way. Um, because mm -hmm. as kind of a newer country and, and a strongly individual, individualized country and very multicultural con country, um, you know, we need, we need these things to, to bring us together. Full Exposure Podcast is brought to you by Metro Health, University of Michigan Health, and Dr. Peter Hahn, in appreciation of the creative and artistic visionaries who enrich our lives through cultural connections.